learning. You know, making sure when someone comes in, when a client comes in. You mean when I was still doing it in the extra room? Yeah, just making sure I was prepared and I could do the job. Compression was a big thing to me. Getting compression right. Because when you really... There's a fine line in compression when you have a vocalist who's very strong and getting that compression right so that your input is good, yet you're just doing what you need to do without crushing the vocal. A lot of people, I think, one of the, some of the few mistakes or the mistakes early on that I see is they'll take a beautiful vocal and they'll crush it with a compressor rather than just touching it. And, or they'll think they need a fast compressor when slow is okay. Things of this nature. So it took me a long time. I wanted to make sure my vocals were really good. Um, so I was always kind of like, oh, you know, what do I do? How do I do it right? And making sure I logged what I did and had a record of it. I can't tell you how many times I recorded something that sounded amazing and I couldn't tell you how I did it because I never took a picture, I never wrote it down, I never logged it. These are really important things. Um, but that, yeah, that was, I mean, mainly it was just making sure everything was right. I was, you know, it was scary at first. 